Hey, this is Matt from Den and DJ at Gear for Music, and today we're looking at the LC6000. The LC6000 is an advanced performance controller that is compatible with engine OS players such as the SE6000 and SE5000, but also works in control mode with Serato DJ Pro, Algorithm DJ, and Virtual DJ. So with the SC6000, we have a dedicated layer control when using in engine OS mode. One of the most powerful things about the SC players, the 6000 and the 5000, is the dual layer feature. The dual layer feature allows you to do multiple things from one player. We can mix two tracks together just from the one player using the two layers, or reserve the second layer for things like loops, acapellas, and also hot cue juggling. The LC6000 is fully bus powered with one USB cable at the back running to the SC6000's USB hub. There's also a wall power option, but you'll find you mainly need to use the wall power when using the LC6000 with iOS. So in this current setup now, I'm using the LC6000 with the SC6000M, and I'm using this to control the second layer of the player. I have two tracks loaded, one on layer A and one on layer B. As soon as you plug in the LC6000, it automatically switches the view to the dual layer mode. Once the unit's connected, you'll see you have full control over the second layer from the pads, the browse, the needle drop, and all the loop features. So let's take a look at some of those. So you can see here, I can use the select zoom knob to browse through my tracks on my player. Now this is dedicated browsing and loading. So if I scroll up to the top here and choose this track, you can see it's now loaded into deck B. So with the LC, you'll find we have exactly the same jog wheel as the SC6000, even down to the wheel adjust as well. We have a 100 mil pitch fader and of course all pad modes. So I can have full control over the cues, loops and slicer of the second layer track. And like the SC6000, we have dedicated loop controls. We have our auto loop at the top, manual loop in and out, and our pad loop mode. And also we have beat jump control as well. And you can change the value of the beat jump by using the auto loop encoder. And at the top of the LC6000, in place of our screen, we have our needle search. So I can scan through a track and place in hot cues if I need to. So with the LC6000 being dedicated hardware control for your second layer, we can have any number of different combinations with our prime setup. For example, here I'm running one SC6000M with one LC, or I could have two players with one LC, all the time having direct control of the second layer of one player. So if you already have just one SC6000 and you're using the dual layer exclusively, the LC6000 is an affordable way to expand your setup. So now we're going to check out how you can use the LC6000 in Serato DJ control mode. The LC6000 can be used with any Serato enabled hardware with a Serato accessory as well. So for this setup, I'm running my X1850 as my Serato hardware, then the SC6000M is my Serato accessory along with the LC6000. So I'm running the USB cable out from the LC into the hub of the SC6000, so it still gets recognized by the laptop. And of course, the X1850 is my Serato sound card. So just like in standalone mode, we have full control over Serato's deck from the LC6000. We have dedicated browsing using the select encoder, our needle drop at the top, and then full access to Serato's pad modes, Q, loop, roll, beat jump, and slicer. And of course, I'm running my SC6000M in Serato control mode as well. So let's take a look at some of the Serato pad modes. We've got full access to our hot cues. and also our loop and roll. Now when in loop and roll, we also have access to Serato's beat jump feature as well. So with the orange and red pads, we can control the length of the beat jump and then activate the beat jump as well. And then we have our roll control.
and then access to both slicer modes in Serato. Then in addition to that, we also have access to our auto loop control at the top and also manual loop in the net as well. So if we're running multiple LCs with Serato, we also have access to change the deck control feature. If I hold shift, then press slip, you can see now my pads down here turn blue. We already have deck one assigned to the SE6000M, so I can have either deck two, three, and four controlled by the LC6000 or multiple LCs. So here I'm going to choose deck three now, and now I'm running deck three on Serato, and I can hold shift and slip again, and then return back to deck two. So if we wanted to, we could have two LCs and just the mixer controlling Serato. So now let's look at the LC6000 in virtual DJ control mode. So here I'm running my X1850 and SC6000M in virtual DJ mode. And as you can see, I've got full access to my swipe gestures and browsing and loading of tracks. And the same is true for the LC. I've got dedicated control over my browsing and loading of tracks and also all my pad modes. And the setup is the same as Serato. I'm running one USB cable into the hub of the SC6000M and using my X1850 as the sound card. So I've got full control over my track using the needle drop mode. And also I've got full control over my hot cues, loops, and rolls. So like in Serato mode, I could run two LCs and my X1850 mixer while running Virtual DJ, but also I could run a hybrid setup if I wanted to. So you can see here my SC6000M is running in standalone mode from Engine OS, but my LC is still connected to Virtual DJ. So I have on my mixer USB channels on three and four and my standalone channels on one and two. So truly hybrid setup. So that's a quick look at the LC6000 and the many ways you can use it from standalone with Engine OS to Serato DJ, Virtual DJ, and also Algorithm on desktop and iOS. For more information on the LC6000, check out the Gear for Music website.